Dear Mr. Prime Minister and distinguished recipients, we have ended the first message, the first video, about the treatment, the two-tier treatment at the Speaker's Corner, Hyde Park, London, where my dear brother, Dr. Haddad, was banned from entering the Speaker's Corner for three months simply because of placing Christian Arabic literature there, while our Muslim friends furnish the place with their literature all the time. This is discrimination against the Christians in London in the United Kingdom. And I'm sure, I'm afraid that is happening elsewhere, which is very unfair and very frustrating. Recently, when I have visited the Speaker's Corner, Hyde Park, London, on the 28th of July, the Salafi Muslims, they were there placing, furnishing the ground with prayer mats and a book table offering free Quran and other dubious literature. Should we become accustomed to a such tourist attraction in London, Mr. Prime Minister? The first quotation in their booklet was from Lothrop Stoddard, praising Islam under the title Most Civilized and Progressive, that is Islam, Most Civilized and Progressive. For the first three centuries of its existence, 650 to 1000 AC, the realm of Islam was the most civilized and progressive portion of the world, studded with splendid cities, gracious mosques, and quiet universities, where the wisdom of the ancient world was preserved and appreciated. The Muslim world offered a striking contrast to the Christian West, sunk in the Dark Ages. That is Lothrop Stoddard, his book, The New World of Islam, published in London, 1932, and page 1. Looking at this quotation, I will leave the details about a hundred million, roughly, more or less, precious lives, Muslims shed their innocent blood to dominate. And I will not touch on choosing what brings a negative point about the Christian West. Most important now, searching Lothrop Stoddard, the Muslims quote, Lothrop Stoddard, who is he? Their first prominent Westerner witness about the glory of Islam. Mr. Prime Minister, distinguished recipients, this is what we find about Lothrop Stoddard. Follow with me, please. Theodore Lothrop Stoddard, 1883-1950, was an American historian, journalist, political scientist, and white supremacist. Stoddard wrote several books which advanced eugenics, white supremacy, Nordicism, and scientific racism, including the rising tide of color against white world supremacy, 1920. He advocated a racial hierarchy, which he believed needed to be preserved through anti-miscegenation laws. On top of that, dear friends, Lothrop Stoddard was a member in the KKK, Ku Klux Klan, where his books were recommended reading. He was also a member of the American Eugenics Society, as well as founding member and board member of the American Birth Control League, which would later become the Planned Parenthood Federation of America. 
Stoddard's work influenced the Nazi government of Germany. The writing of Lothrop Stoddard was supporting the Nazi Germany, taken into account by the Nazi Germany, which was relevant to them. Salafi Muslims never cease to amaze me by the taste of their first prominent witness about the glory of Islam. It reminds me also of Hajj Amin al Husseini, the Grand Mufti of Jerusalem, that is in the year 1921 to 1948. His meeting with Adolf Hitler, 28th of November 1941. Although the Nazi generally regarded Arabs with dislike, Hitler himself had in 1937 spoken of them, spoken of the Arabs as half apes. Matter 1984, sorry, and page 277. Al Husseini allied with the Nazi Führer, generated Muslim support, Muslim fighters, mercenaries for the Nazi as they both share the goal of the destruction of the Jewish people. Not surprising, because allegedly Muhammad himself was a white man. Many would prove him racist as well. So for me, leaving Islam and embracing the Christian faith, I left the religion of the white man to the religion of the brown-skinned man. Jesus, my Lord and Savior. Today, Islamists are aligning themselves with their worst and well-established enemy, the far left. That is the enemy of, the, of Islam and aligning themselves together to destroy our long fought for democracy and freedom of speech. Is this not a threat? Is this not a matter of concern, Mr. Prime Minister and distinguished recipients? I strongly believe that Islamists would embrace even jinn who have good place in the Quran and the Muslim society as fellow Muslims to reach their goal of dominating the world and impose the Islamic Sharia that never proved to be valid application throughout 14th century. Never throughout 14th century of the life of Islam, Sharia proved to be valid application and fair for all its citizens, indiscriminately. Do you think Sharia is good replacement to our constitution today? That's what Islamists aim for. For a few decades, the Salafi Muslims, who are stricter than the Muslim Brotherhood, have increasingly represented a real threat to the people in the East and the West alike, who have suffered a significant share of their discriminatory and destructive ideologies. The Muslims who do not spare even Muslim sacred sites and peace-loving people in the Muslim world, fellow Muslims, from their brutal barbarism, certainly have no pity for you and for me, and all of us, Western citizens, whom they characterize as infidels. Let me stop here and have a word of prayer. Father God, we touch on various topics. Lothrop Stoddard, white supremacist, member of the KK, Nazi ideology, that's the testimony about Islam. And we touch on Adolf Hitler and his relationship with the Mufti Husseini. Many Muslims are peace-loving people, trapped maybe in that religion. We commit all to you, and we commit ourselves here.
in the West as free world everywhere. In Jesus' precious name, Amen. Mm -hmm.